It's the 52-week Coleman Challenge. This is week 48, and this week's challenge is corn. And not just any corn, mind you. We were specifically prohibited this week from just opening a can of niblets and boiling it up, which probably I would have done. So this week we're going to make one of my favorites, uh, cornmeal pancakes. We're ready to go. I've got one cup of regular old flour here and a half cup of cornmeal about a teaspoon, uh, about a tablespoon, I'm sorry, of sugar this is turbinado sugar, brown, normally called brown sugar a uh, teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt a half teaspoon of salt one egg And three quarters of a cup of milk. Finally, three teaspoons of melted butter. I did not cheat and melt the butter in the microwave. I did it right on my stove. I'm going to mix these up. And the thing about cornmeal pancakes is that if we cook this right away, we would get quite gritty pancakes, which is actually one of the things I like about pancake, uh, cornmeal pancakes, is a little bit of grit. But I'm going to mix these up and leave them for a while. And that's why I used three quarters of a cup of milk, which is probably, I don't know, I'm probably even going to want to thin this a little more. I see it's coming up into more of a dough than a batter. Add some water. That's a quarter cup of water right there. And a lot of the water is going to be absorbed by the corn. Take that up to a half cup of water. I like a wet batter for making pancakes. Mixed up, that's the consistency I want. We're going to wait about half an hour. Well, the weather outside is frightful, so I've opted, opted to cook inside again today with our prepo stove. The half hour has given the batter some time to thicken up. I would probably have even gone more wet than this, and a little time for the corn to soften. Oh, wait. Before we put the first dose of batter on the stove, on a pan, of course, uh, dose it with some butter. There is a diner in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, the Morin Square Diner. I've been going to for years and years. And he makes cornmeal pancakes and they are fantastic. If you are ever in North Central Massachusetts, on any day but a Saturday, he's not open on Saturday, I would suggest, strongly suggest, going to the Morin Square Diner trick that all real chefs know is to flip your pancake over again before you put it on your plate so you get the nicer initial cook side up. The bottom sides are usually kind of ugly. Another trick real chefs know is to not make two pancakes on a cold grill. Griddle like I just did. Uh, I should have started with just one. And Chris at the Morning Square Diner re-butters uh, for every pancake he puts down. And Chris uses an awful lot of butter. That's certainly not heart healthy, but it is very tasty and good. So, let's try this again. I'm going to try just one this time, right in the middle. And we can tell my pan's getting a little too hot because we're getting some smoke. I have already been turning down the flame. I'm going to add a little more water. I do this a lot, adjusting the mix on the fly really easy to have too dry and it's a lot easier to have a wet mix than a dry mix. My first taste test suggests I could have gone with more corn. Um, two to one wheat flour is a little heavy on the wheat especially where I've let the corn soften. If you don't take time between adding the corn and cooking then less corn in your mix makes more sense. That looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Could have gone a little bit less. 
close enough there. There too. That's a pretty good, pretty good pancake right there. So we can continue. A beauty shot of a beautiful stack of pancakes. There is a big texture difference between my early thick pancakes with the thick batter and the later thin pancakes with the thin batter. Which whichever way you like your cornmeal pancakes, you can't deny that poor cornmeal pancakes are just plain good. So anyway, that's uh, week 48 down, and I'll see you next week.